Hello, hello, welcome in, welcome back. Today is hashtag ATC MDC Open Collab. It is hosted by Tony with Creative Chica Halls and More, Kimmy's Kitchen and More, and Kat with Kat, Kaz, and Callie. This is an open collaboration that anyone can join on any Thursday, and it is to help you to build your stash. All you have to do is upload a video showing your ATC, which is the artist trading card. It measures two and a half inches by three and a half inches or a memory dex card. Today, I decided to make some ATCs and I'm not quite done with Halloween crafting just yet, although I can say that the end is in sight. So let's craft together and make some Halloween ATCs. The cool thing about these artist trading cards is that they are all one of a kind and I am using all scraps. I didn't cut into any brand new paper for this. So here I started with some scrap cardboard that measures the size of an ATC. I also cut down some scrapbook paper which was actually from some digitals to two and a half inches by three and a half inches as well. I'm thinking I am going to make two little panels on top of the ATC card and then I decided to have a little border around it. So I cut down the black to two and a half inches by three and a half inches which is the size of my ATC. I already pre-measured the little panel that I was going to pop on the top of this card so I also shaved that down an eighth of an inch too. I try not to overthink crafting too much so I didn't even really have a clear idea of where this was going. I really just wanted to use up some scraps and maybe some stickers and things from my collection so then I really just started gluing things down. Now great I have my base complete. Now I'm just eyeballing to see where I want this little fourth of a scrap for my ATC card to go. And I decided that I want these stripe patterns to be diagonal. And I also want them popped up. Time to add some extra pizzazz. So I pull out my gold thread with the little sequins on it. And I'm also pulling out some foam tape to pop up these little panels. Okay, so far everything is looking cute. My panels are popped up and my gold thread is popping. And, and now you guys, real life, this is what I go through every time I try to make a decision on what I'm going to do with things. I go through a ton of things in my stash and try to imagine what it will look like and then what else it would need. Eventually I get there. Do you guys have the same thought process? Let me know in the comment box, what are some of your decision-making thoughts? The bats, yes. Decision made, I finally settled on these cute bats from Jolie's Boutique. I actually found these at Dollar General for only a dollar and they are so cute. So these bats were popped up on foam tape, which I needed to remove just the center part of. So you'll see me completely removing the foam tape, cutting out the center part, and then putting the foam tape back just on the wings where that will stay popped up.
I think that turned out nice. What do you guys think? Let me know. If you have any questions about the process, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Of course, I couldn't just stop at one. So here's another card that I made. I have the full process for that one as well on video, but I figured I wouldn't bore you guys. I think that it turned out super, super cute though. I really like the background paper and I really wanted to use that witch. And then here is another card. I had, I had this scrap zipper piece that I really wanted to use and just not throw away. So I popped it on an ATC and I like the way that it turned out. Use some cute stickers. I recently did a project using some of these die cut out thread spools and I decided to pop one on an ATC. I like the way that that turned out too. While I was at it, I made a couple of twinchies. Twinchies are two by two inch cards. I used some stickers and some extra die cuts that I had laying around and I think that clown twinchie turned out cute. And then my last twinchie, last year I painted a bunch of these wood pieces, added a little bit of sparkle to them. And I decided to use it on a twinchy this year. The mouse, the spiders, the dots were all rub ones from Dollar Tree. So cute. Take a look at hashtag ATC MDC Open Collab to see what everyone has posted today. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.